Hello and welcome to this video about Guild Wars 2. Um, I'll show you something about the crafting and uh, about the trading interface of this game. Um, I'm in the second stress test and it's over soon so I don't have much time left. First let me start with opening up my inventory and we'll see some ore in the upper left corner. We see copper, silver and gold ore. Um, you see how the jeweler 150 indicates that the gold ore is just to use uh, if you're a little bit into the job and uh, the copper ore doesn't have any level uh, requirements so you can use the copper ore right from the beginning of the game and you can find it right from the beginning of the game in the very first uh, areas and if you craft it you'll get some copper ingots. Um, I can show you that. Um, I'll just find the right section, which is not here. It's uh, it's there. It is refinements, and we got the copper ingot. The uh, font is grayed out, and so we get no XP for crafting this. Um, but I craft it anyway, and well, yeah. Now I have one more copper ingot. So the same goes for silver. It uh, has a level requirement of 75. Um, which means I have to be 75 in Jula to uh, be able to craft this. Yeah, I'm level 169, so I'm pretty much able to craft this. So I will, just to show you, um, I craft this. The uh, progress bar is uh, pretty slow. Okay, well, next thing up is gold, which I have uh, 6 or from that and I can craft three ingots of that so I just bet craft all three ingots and you can see how the progress bar is speeding up a little um, with uh, crafting more of them um, it has a limit I think it's half a second or so per crafting process and you get XP for this because um, well Gold is difficulty of 150, I think, yeah, and I'm 169, so I'm pretty close to that and get XP for crafting it. Um, yeah, the batch crafting is a very efficient process. You can craft a lot and a lot and a lot, and it just is fast. It's it's pretty fast. It speeds up. Uh, the more you craft, the more sp uh, it does speed up, and um, if you craft 10 pieces, it will speed up three, four, five times, I don't know, and then uh, the progress bar is on the fastest crafting level, to put it so, and, um, well, you craft very fast. Uh, if you craft uh, single processes, you will not craft that fast, the progress bar will be reset in speed every time you start a new process. Okay, um, over here we got some jewels, uh, the left ones, Amethyst and Topaz are uh, level 75 I think, and the right ones are 150, so the left ones uh, are not very very good at the moment, and I can use them instead to uh, upgrade my equipment, which I already have uh, equipped. Um, this has a free upgrade slot and I can just drop it there and upgrade and then it's uh, in the upgrade slot of my shoulder armor and uh, that gains 5 power and 2 vitality through uh, using this jewel. Um, I don't need it anyway, I need these two and I will just show you how to use them uh, crafting. You saw me crafting ingots, you saw me crafting, you, you can imagine how this looks like, you click a button and the progress bar runs through and you get a little bit XP but it's not very efficient, so uh, the alternative for this is um, these are some semi-finished products, uh, the filigree, um, I got one of those or two, I don't know, so I'll just use them uh, to get new recipes. Uh, I'll just drag those two in and get a gold fitted jewel. This is a new recipe, so um, you see the difficulty of 150, my level is 169, so I'm pretty much able to craft this and I click craft and I get a new recipe, I get an exquisite carnelian jewel which is new for me and I get lots of XP uh, for uh, exploring this recipe. Um, I'll just go on with the next one which I can't because I'm missing one filigree, so I craft some filigree first, uh, which is a little setting for the jewel um, 
and I'll put this in and the next jewel and I'll click craft and I'll get another recipe I didn't know before and it gets me nearly two levels of XP for my jeweling uh, in level. So um, if you are under the next level you can uh, get recipes from, uh, I'll show you that. Um, so this needs level 200, um, I'm level 117 too so I can't craft this. So well, um, the best thing about crafting I think uh, is the straightforward exploring mode and uh, okay uh, the cook just isn't that straightforward but uh, pretty much every other job is um, you get uh, a, a ring, you need a band, you need a say copper band, you need a copper fitting and you need a jewel and you get a ring with that jewel and that stats. Um, if you got to silver and better jewels you can take the silver band, the silver fitting and the silver jewel, uh, the silver uh, leveled jewel and you get the same ring in silver level and better. Yeah, And um, that's pretty straightforward, it's, it's logical, it's pure logical and um, you just can't go wrong, you just have to think and well, you can explore all uh, those recipes you um, are not having at the moment. And this is the efficient way to uh, level crafting. You explore the most recipes you can. If you can't explore any other recipes, then you have to craft some other recipes such like those. And I'll just try to... Okay, it seems like it doesn't work because I already know all recipes with that uh, topaz uh, lump or what's it. And so I just can craft this, topaz nugget it was. Um, so I just have crafted this and um, well... These two uh, can be used to upgrade your components you're wearing, your armor and you can also use them for making jewelry but on level 200 okay let's have a look at the black line trading company you can click o to open it or the icon in the upper left corner of the screen uh, where there's a lion and you end up with the game store opened uh, but um, you got these uh, on the left these icons to change your categories uh, in which you want to browse <clears throat> this is the um, buying category and you can just go into this and buy but you can also in your inventory you can click uh, right on your items uh, you want to sell and you can click sell and you get into the selling tab and you can just sell to the highest buyer you can match your lowest uh, sell price and that the second one would be like an auction and I could click on sell maximum to increase my quantity to my maximum. I can use my own price. I can sell one for say 20 copper. Um, let's do this and click on sell and now I started say an auction. It, I don't know, no they can't um, bid on that. They can just buy it for 20 copper but um, I have to wait till anyone uh, who is willing to meet my price will buy that for 20 copper. The uh, lowest seller is 5 copper so it could take a while. Now I have another option popping up. I could use this to meet my lowest listing which is 20 copper. Um, I could use match lowest seller or meet highest buyer and I sell 5 to meet highest buyer to get it uh, sold instantly because they paid the trading guys from the black line trading company um, beforehand and the black line trading company just buys uh, if I want to sell it they they use their money from the other players to uh, buy them stuff and then they uh, the players can get their stuff from the black line guys okay well the annoying Skype sorry um, yeah, so I'm able to uh, sell the stuff. This is stuff I'll just use as an enhancement uh, for making inscriptions, which um, resembles the uh, jewels that I need for crafting different uh, rings, earrings and stuff. Uh, the huntsman needs it to craft different bows and pistols and stuff. Um, but I don't want them. I don't want to make huntsmen anymore. So. 
I'll just sell all the stuff and yeah um, these vials of weak blood shall make me a good price uh, 24 uh, copper for two of them is good um, you note how sorry again um, you note how this is a little bit um, slow loading uh, the the trading window the trading UI um, but this is really really fast uh, compared to last better weekend and um, I think this is a great step forward and I think in the final version this is very fluent and um, won't lag or load at all this well sorry for Skype I just um, I think I'll just mute them this is just annoying and uh, well be right back damn it so here I am back again and uh, the Skype is muted so there is no annoying bloop and well let's continue I'm in my selling window this is my inventory with all I can sell and I can click on any item of this and I can sell it uh, instantly to the highest um, buyer which is pretty much um, well it's useful you you are questing you are in the field uh, you are not in the city and your inventory is full you, you can just go with a with O or with the icon you can go to the uh, trading UI and you can just instantly sell your stuff um, the inventory instantly gets uh, free you get money but you have to get uh, you pick up the money at the trading guys this is what I will show you now um, it's over here right over here very near to the crafting stations um, there are these trading guys from the uh, black lion trading company and you can go here and only here you can click on this take all button and you can get your money you made from uh, selling stuff and you can get your items from make, uh, buying stuff and well, this is the only thing you really have to uh, use uh, these black line guys for. Um, selling and buying uh, can be done everywhere in the world. And just to take uh, your money or your items, you have to come here. Okay, I'll just buy a spinal lamp uh, now. I'll use that soon to show you something else. The normal price is at 1 silver and 27 copper so um, yeah if I would uh, buy 4 then I'll buy 3 for 1 27 and the 4th for 4 9 um, I need one I could buy it now I don't think I will because there is the place custom offer uh, link it's more like a link not a button um, I can switch modes to place my offer and I'll offer the money uh, the money I enter here which is well 32 say 32 uh, which beats the highest uh, buyer at the moment I'll just order one for 32 the money goes to the black lion guys I don't have to stand here I can be in the world uh, for this one um, and as soon as somebody wants to sell this he sees my highest price of 32 and the first one he will sell it to am I so yeah I'll just have to wait until anyone wants to sell it then I got it okay um this carnelian lump uh, cost three silver and little here and in the offerings section it's just 40 copper I'll just enter 40 copper and yeah let's see if we get something for that price silver ingots I'll show you that the normal price is 1 silver 21 copper and if I go to place a custom offer I'll see 32 yes, 37 37 is um, the highest price and if I go here and want to sell meet highest buyer 37 that's what I see if I want to sell that so I would sell that to the uh, guy or guys which are willing to pay 37 so yeah that's where the price goes so if I uh, bid 40 
copper for a carnelian lamp. Uh, the one who wanna sell that sees the highest uh, buyer bids 40, so he sells it to the highest buyer, which would be me. Um, yeah, so I'll sell all this stuff here because I don't need that anymore. And this is a little bit slow, and uh, it's loading very slow at the moment. But um, as I said before, this is really fast compared to last beta weekend and I think I'm pretty um, optimistic that this will be the final version uh, will be much faster than this and much more usable. Okay, let's look for a spinal lump and just try to buy it for 127. My order is just this and well no one's uh, willing to sell some to me so I just buy it out for the higher price but um, I'm sure to get it instantly so this is a price I'll just buy four if I would buy four the next highest pr the next lowest price would be into the uh, calculation but I'll just buy one um, and I just need one, take it out and go back to the crafting stations. A uh, nice thing about the trading is, really really nice thing about the trading is that you can, well, set a low price for any raw material or stuff and just wait until the price drops and your, your money is at the um, black line guys. And as far as, uh, as, as soon as the price drops to the low price you want to achieve, you get all the material and after that you can just sell them for much higher prices and you make profit. Pretty easy, you don't have to be on the screen uh, all the time, you just post your uh, low price, you give them the, your money and if the price drops you get it. Okay, there we got a spinal lump, we got here, uh, we got some uh, gold fitting and hook and we can't craft this because it says more compatible ingredients are missing there's one possible recipe and it's difficulty 175 I'm 172 this is the point I just can't craft this at the moment um, because my level is too low the more compatible ingredient uh, message is just fake I just I don't know if this is uh, how it's supposed to be or it's a bit buggy but there are no ingredients left, um, which I had to insert to get this work in. All what, uh, which is missing is my actual level. There are three levels missing. Um, and if I would be 175 or higher, there would be no warning uh, that any material is missing. Any component is missing. Okay. So this is uh, a little downside, I think. Um, I think they have to patch that to fix that. Uh, you don't think there is missing some component because it isn't. Um, it's a straightforward system. You can just look what you crafted before. You can change the materials, um, the, uh, I don't know, fittings from silver to gold. You can change the uh, um, jewels from worse to better and you get better equip. Okay, I hope you have found this video informative. It um, tried to cover up the most basic operations in the crafting and trading windows and um, I hope it answered some questions for you. Uh, if not, if you have questions, if you have follow-up questions or something else to note, uh, please make sure to comment it below the video and I'll try to answer it or other users can answer it. Well, thank you for watching and goodbye.